Back again with another video. <sighs> Today, I guess we'll be showcasing a little bit of all the gins, I guess. Their spawn locations. Yes, we're going to be showing all the gins those spawn locations. <laughs> this is going to take a while. <laughs> Let's get into this video. I don't have all of the max, so this is going to be kind of complicated. But I have most of them maxed. So let's get into this bit. Now, I'm going to be dropping weekly content every day. I mean, every week. Sorry, my bad. But let's just get into this video. So the first hell beast we'll be showing today is... I guess we could start off in order. Me and everything. Shout out to the boy. Uh, what is his name? <laughs> Lil King. Lil King. He made this song called Movie. Lil King, the real one. Shout out to him. Yo, this boy's song is fire. I'll tell you that. He got bars. He got bars. I'm using his music in this video. So, first one we're going to be showcasing is Sue Tells. The first LP. I'll be showing the locations of all the Tell Beasts after we do the showcase. So let's get this cracking. It's basically, the element for this one, I would say is sand. Whoa. This is second mode. And then that's it. Told you guys I don't have every single place to out. Maxed out, but I do have every single chocolate cloak for all the tubbies. So I can show you guys the C spec, the Z spec, I mean, which is kind of a sand element, but it doesn't have any actual effect. So that's the sad part about it. The one tells isn't that good. I would say that the second tells is better because it does have an effect, like an elemental effect. So let's move on to that one. Also, the Q spec. Is a roar. So let's demote down. Move on to the two tails. So here's the first mode. This one shoots kind of like a little burst of fire, like that. Now here's the second mode. It's the same as the first mode for the Z-Spec. Now here's the third mode, which is the actual tail beast mode, like where it's in its rage form. The same Q-Spec, but different Z-Spec, which is an actual tail beast bomb. Boom. Now let's move on to the fourth mode, which is the Chakra Cloak. Chocolate Cloak could look kind of heavy. <laughs> it looks swagger a little bit, but it looks like a barf. But still, it looks swagger. Swagger. It looks a little swagger. Now, here's the. I think it was the fourth. No. Oh, yeah, it was the fourth one. There it is. Wait, no. The fifth one. Here's the fifth mode, which is an actual tail beast. Boom. Whoa. I should probably go to. <laughs> yeah. There's a tail beast for that one. Then. Uh, Let's just go to the dual arena real quick. Be back in a sec. All right, we're back. Now, same Q spec. Now, hold on. Now, let's show the actual six mode. Seventh, I think. I think it's the seventh. I'm pretty sure it's seventh or six. Now, here's the Z spec. The Z spec is different. Now you can run around with it. Boom, 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 boom. You can spam this about four times. Now here's the Q spec. Boom, 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 boom. Now if I held down guard and Q, I can't do this in PvP because then I would get instantly comboed. But the showcase, I can. There we go. Guard and Q, then you get the tail beast bomb like from the original mode. 
Now let's move on to the three tails. So this is actually, I would say, this is the best one for stun. Almost the best one for stun. Because it does slow them down. So here's the first mode. Here's the second mode right here. Here's the third mode. Here's the fourth mode right here. Which is, you know, the actual type of beast mode. And then here's the fifth mode. The beast bomb. Now this does slow the opponent down and they're kind of trapped. Now, on to the sixth mode. Wait. I'm pretty sure. Oh, I didn't max this one out. So that's going to be. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> this wasn't the one I maxed out. So let's move on to the four toes. I mean, yeah, the four toes. My bad. Kind of messing up in this video. But I will be dropping weekly content on any different game. You know, just trying to be out there. But. I'll be dropping content tomorrow on um, Block Roots, actually, and New World. Here's the first mode. Here's the second mode. Here's the third mode. Here's the fourth mode. Here's the fifth mode. Here's the sixth mode. Here's the seventh mode. Do I have that one? Here's the eighth mode. It's kind of a monkey tail piece. It's kind of funny the way it looks. And then the cues back. Boom, 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 boom. Then let's just move on to the five toes. Oh, let's see what level we have for this one. 142. Almost max. For, you know, complete chakra mode. Here's the second mode right here. Here's the third mode. Here's the fourth mode. This is the fifth mode. Here's the sixth mode. Here's the seventh mode. Now, here's the tail beast. This stuns too. It's really good stun. I like the stunnables. This one is basically like the haze, that haze move. Like this one, which makes you faster, the opponent faster, if they're using it on you. Where is it at? Uh, yeah, here it is. Like this. Like this one. That makes you faster in your opponent's slip wall. It slows the opponents down and makes them get stuck. It's basically like that one. Now let's move on to the six toes. And also, I shall be dropping next week an all mode showcase and location spawn. So be looking out for that next week. Here's the second mode for six toes. Here's the third mode. Here's the fourth mode. Here's the fifth mode. Here's the sixth mode. Here's the seventh mode. And then here's the eighth mode. Yeah, here's the toe beast bomb. This is a good one for stuns too. Basically, the seven toes, the six toes, the five toes, and the three tails are good for stuns. Those are the good, most best tail bees for stuns. And if you wanted to use eight tails, that is basically for blinding the opponent. Now here's the seven tails, which allows the ability allows you to fly. Actually, the mode allows you to fly. But once you reach the um, six pass mode for every toe beast, you're able to fly without um, the stamina well, being taken. 
Now here's the second mode. Here's the third mode. Here's the fourth mode. Here's the fifth mode right here. Here's the sixth mode. Here's the seventh mode. Here's the eighth mode. Here's the ninth mode. Now on mobile, you would have to press it twice to get the six pass mode. And then in um, computer, you just have to press zero. Now here's the Z spec. I'm use guard. Boom. The beast. Bomb. Boom, 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 boom. Now here's the. Sh now we gotta go on to the ATOS. Let me reset because I'm running out of mode. Here we Here's the second mode. <laughs> We're back. Here's the second mode. Here's the third mode. Here's the fourth mode. Right here. Now here's the fifth mode. Now here's the rage tell beast mode. Here's the sixth mode. Which is unmastered chakra cloak. And then here's the seventh mode, which is the master chakra cloak. And then here's the eighth mode, which is the six pass mode. Octopus. Whoops, I jumped. <laughs> now here's the tail beast bomb. Boom. Didn't have to shoot me without looking. That's when you know I don't. <laughs> trying to make me, trying to make a rock. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, so you know you never catch me slipping. Now here's the cortels, which is the nine tail. Here's the first mode. Here's the second mode right here. Here's the third mode. Here's the fourth mode. You know, the nine tails was the one I wanted to max out first. But once you start getting used to it, you really don't like it. It's not the best tail beasts in the game. There are others out there. Here's the eighth mode. Boom, 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 boom. Now, also just to let you know, these tail beasts, well, the ones that you summon when you're um, coming out of the mode, these ones, they auto track. But these ones, the ones that you put the key spec, they don't auto track. You have to aim them. Now let's move on to the long awaited tin tails. <sighs> Sadly, they don't have this feature on mobile where you can fly. So I'm gonna have to show you guys it without the flight, which is pretty sad. Here's the first mode. Q spec right here. Boom. Boom, 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 boom. Now, the M1s are different for this mode. It's basically the sword of Nunoboku. Now, here's the second mode. Also, just to let y'all know, I will be streaming. Well, no, I'll be doing a vid for the big update that's coming out. Now, here's. The big old dragon. That dragon. You cannot move with it, which is the sad part. You see? Sad. I really want to shed a tear right now. But here's the Q spec. It's the same. And now, on to the locations. Thanks for watching this part. Now let's move on. So the first part we'll be showing is the one tails. So you would like to start from the ramen shop right here. Whoops, I accidentally clicked the mission. Let's just get out of that. Boom. So first you would be like you would like to start from the ramen shop right here. Now you would like to go this way. Come out, it's gonna be a real thing. I got this chain and I got a move. All these girls know I'm so smooth, like a smooth. 
Let me mode up to make it faster. Sorry. Probably want it to be faster. And here it spawns right here. Boom. Now let's move on to the next one. Also, the stun hits for this thing, the tell beats itself, are pretty annoying. So make sure you have at least two people to help you with the cell beast. Now let's move on. So we're back. Now we're showcasing the spawn location of two cells. So basically, all you want to do is come to or respawn until you get somewhere around here. And you want to start by the ramen shop. It's basically always by the ramen shop. Every single spawn, you start from the ramen shop. So you should start from right here. Now let's move on. Follow where I go. There's two Tilt Beasts that spawn here. So I will be coming back later on in the video. Well, I should showcase it right now. Actually, Ato spawns down here. So, you just come from the ramen shop over there, where I just came from, and then you just come down. If it spawned in your server, you just come down, and it'll be right here. Now, the two toes is over here. My bad. I actually should have did that. I should have shot seven toes, too. So... Actually, just to let you know, the only village that doesn't have two tail beasts that spawns in it is Leaf Village. So the next tail beast, which is two tails, spawns right over here. Right over here in this area. Now let's move on to three tails and the six tails. Alright, so you would like to start from the armor shop over there. So you'd like to start from the ramen shop right here. And where the three tails will spawn is literally right over here. Right over here in this area. And then the next tail beast. So you just go on this bridge from the ramen shop and you just run across this bridge over here. Ah, I got stuck. And my buttons glitched. I hate when it does that. And then it would spawn right over here. Come on. Follow. Follow. Not right here. Not right here. Spawns all the way. Over here. So boom, it'll spawn right here. Now on to the next tail beast. Which is going to be the four tails. And then also we're gonna add in the five tails. And that's actually a numerical order, so let's get it. Now we're gonna be starting from the mom shop right here. And now we'll be going this way. As you can see, Savage Blade spawned in my server, but I'm not gonna be showcasing that right now. I'll show out case for all the weapons later. And then the Sun Tail Spirit will be spawning right up there.
pretty sure it's right here. <laughs> I'm going all the way up there <laughs> for no reason. <laughs> pretty sure it's right here. And then you have a vanish when it falls down over here and stuff. Either right here or right there. Now let's move on to the five tails. Spawns exactly in the same server. Well, that was a waste of a uh, shock slam. See if our skills ability. You just go right over here. And then it would spawn right over here. Now, we'd be heading to the dunes <laughs> again, which I should have by that. I should have. <laughs> I should have did it with one to us. But let's move on. Okay, we're back with another video. <laughs> we're back at the dunes. So, we'd be heading from the ramen shop right here. And then, we'd be going. Ah. So, we'd be going from the ramen shop right there. Now, just follow me. And the tail beast will be spawning right here. Oh my gosh. I hate when it spawns. Why? Because that thing, it pushed me from all the way over I bought it last time. And this guy trapped me all the way over here and made me die right over there. I'm just put this in featuring it. But this is where it spawns right over here. Booyah. Now let's move on to the pre famous, well known. Well loved, Kuruma. All right, so I guess you can start from this entrance. You don't need to start from the ramen shop this time. Spawn until you get to this entrance right here. Then you would just go this way. Follow me. And then it would spawn right here. Now on to the one that's most wanted by people. The guy and the only one, Tintels. The most annoying person in the anime itself. The most annoying person that's in the Naruto anime. The most probably is OP person, Tintels. Let's just move on to him. And I'm just gonna show you guys where to get him. So you just scroll down, scroll down. Until so you see this war, it's kind of under, it's kind of under Shindo World, and then it's on top of the new one, the new actual test. I don't know what to call it. I'm gonna just say whatever. I don't know, but it's over Conquest, and now you just teleport to this, boom, 
Now wait till you get into a public server and you would have to go to round 20 till it spawns. I'm not going to be showcasing all that today. I will showcase later on in one of my other bits. Probably next week too. Um, I will be showcasing how to get it. Fastest way to get it. See? Oh, there's some people that are actually in here. And you would just grind this until it's round 20. You would have to deal with these NPCs down there. Oh my gosh, look at the base. This, that's a shame. Wow, that's just a shame. But yeah, that's it for all the Tell Beast spawn locations and showcase. Hope you guys have a wonderful night or a wonderful day, evening, whatever time it is for you guys. Have a blessed, wonderful day. May God bless yourselves. Thank you for watching this video.